Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so, so much for subscribing and tuning in to another video. So today, I thought we'd sit down and do a speed knot. We hadn't done a speed what? A speed what? <laughs> a speed knot in a long while. So I thought it would be fun to do one. I think the last one I did was my little um, bird hanging, maybe. And I think that was in the spring, like early, early spring. And now it's fall. I don't know about where you are, but we've already had snow. Uh, we got a good couple inches, then it melted. And it was actually snowing this morning when I went into work. So it's basically winter here. We kind of skip fall almost every year. So I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. What is the crazy weather doing where you are is 2020 making your weather crazy or just everything else let me know <laughs> anyways guys today we are going to be speed knotting this bracelet that i actually made for someone uh specifically they'd picked this pattern out so i thought i would share and it's a classic at this point i think a lot of people I want to say everyone, but I know that's not true, but like a lot of people have made this bracelet. It is a space bracelet and the pattern is bracelet book number 19454. And the pattern isn't a particularly large bracelet, but I really wanted to uh, sit and make this bracelet. It was going to take a little while to finish it just because of the time I have readily available at the moment. So um, too long to do a tutorial on. So why not do a speed knot? So um, this went off pretty much without a hitch really. I used my loops and threads string for this as well as a touch of DMC, which we'll see coming up here in the next planet. I use it actually for the rings and it's this fluorescent green color. It looks almost the same as the like pale yellow, um, but it's a fluorescent green color and it, the Fluorescent green is actually um, much thicker than the normal string. So I had to split it down to, I think I used three threads out of the uh, six or seven that were in the actual string. And it seemed to come out like the exact same size as my normal untouched loops and thread string. So that actually knotted in quite nicely. And I was pleasantly surprised. The finish on it's not quite as slippery as like the satin finish but I expected to have some difficulties with it and it actually knotted very nicely, held the knot very nice. Um, I didn't have to really work with it at all. Once I split it down, the knots were all coming out the same size. So I was actually thoroughly impressed with this. So I do end up using it again later uh, in one of the other planets here, but that was a DMC floss that I used there. So a little bit of an experiment and it turned out really well. I was really happy with how it looked and I thought it just brought this space bracelet kind of to a bit of another level because I don't know when I think of space I think of a few things I think of all the like futuristic movies and stuff that you see so I think of kind of um like bright and flashing like I think of I don't know like Star Trek where they're like warping into hyperspeed and there's like a flash of light and you think of stars and you know um like even Star Wars with the lightsabers and I don't know I just think of a lot of like glowing and radiating and like bright colors and vibrant colors on that like dark night sky so that's what i tried to do for this and this is going to a guy so the original pattern uh does have like purples and stuff in it and i tried to actually pull some of that out so it was a little less like uh pink and purple and opted to do uh, the planet orange instead of pink and then do that uh, neon ring around it then the spaceship was really the only request that the individual had. Uh, they wanted the spaceship to remain exactly the same. So uh, I did that as close to the colors as I could get with what I had. And um, they didn't care if it was straight edges or not. So I've been trying the straight edges for a while. So I actually opted to do just classic alpha edges on this. I did do the flat alpha technique again, as you guys may have picked up here, uh, just because I'm still kind of playing with that. I feel like there's more results to be had. Like I feel like everyone is just really hyping up the flat alpha color change and I'm just, 
I'm not really experiencing why myself yet. And I don't know if that's just because I need to practice with it some more. So that's what I've been doing. Almost like, I want to say the last four, maybe five alphas I've made, I have used the flat alpha color change specifically for this reason. And I'm not really seeing any new progress or advancement with it. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in my arsenal of things. I mean, it doesn't hurt to do it, but um, I've been nodding longer with the other method, so it's still quicker for me to do the other method. So that in mind, it is working out much better now, as I think I've said before on my channel, with some half decent string, because when I was using the craft cord, I think what was happening upon closer inspection was that that craft cord was cheap and it was stretching the more I used it. So the string was getting thinner and then the knots weren't working properly. You were seeing the other string through like significantly. And I honestly think that's what it was. And then doubled up with um, the base strings, which aren't really stretching because they're not knotting. Um, I was just having difficulties with it, but with some decent string, it seems to be going okay. And I'm actually really in love with this, how this bracelet turned out. I know it's a little bit difficult for you guys to see um, with the tape and the light, what it actually looks like, because there's a lot of color changes in this. I did have to use a lot more tape than I maybe would have liked to have used, but um, I am really happy with how this turned out. And I really hope the person who's receiving it likes it. But um, yeah, we're basically, we're getting close to the end here. And this is where I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make this last planet, or the second last planet, I guess, like neon. I was like, I have this piece of neon string already stripped down, already cut, let's do it. And then I thought we'd slow it back down for everyone's favorite part. I find this so satisfying. Honestly, it wasn't going to leave that audio in there. That's why my boyfriend's listening to a podcast in the background. But when I went through to trim that footage down, I still had the sound on. And that tape sound was so satisfying. And just watching it be pulled off the table, that satisfaction of finishing a bracelet, I just had to leave it in. A little bracelet ASMR. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the finished product looked like and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love the blue. It's like dark royal blue. I don't know what you want to call it. I love that it's not black. I think the black would have been too much. I'm trying to, <laughs> that kind of shows that neon green a little bit better, but it's really not doing it justice. Um, in person, it's very bright, very neon. The only thing I'm not happy with is there's a lot of big loops on the back of this. So I'm going to take my handy dandy flat nail clippers as usual and cut some of these big loops down. I'm going to cut the ones that have a lot of knots of each color at either end. And the only time I wouldn't do this is if it's like a single knot of color. So like I wouldn't cut the loops between the stars because there's only one knot for each star. And I don't feel like that's super secure. So. I don't glue or anything on the back of my bracelets, so I kind of count on multiple knots of color keeping the strings in place. So I get asked that a lot, and that's what I do. I cut right flat to the back of the bracelet, and I don't do any glue or nail polish or anything on it. So anyways, guys, this is kind of what the slightly more cleaned up back is looking like, and the finished product. I... I'm actually really, really happy with this bracelet and I hope the individual who's getting it likes it. I hope you guys like it too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up and until next time guys, bye!